In this illustration, we'll study about the distance of closest approach in a space. And uh, here, uh, the figure shows a fixed charge plus Q, and another particle of mass m and charge plus Q is projected toward this charge with an impact parameter R naught. And we are required to find the distance of closest approach. Here, uh, we can see in this picture if uh, this charge is fixed. And another charge is projected toward it, it will be repelled and its trajectory will go on like this. And in this situation, the closest approach will be at the position when its velocity vector is making an angle 90 degree with the line joining the two charges, which is say Rm. And here we are required to find the value of this Rm. In this situation, as this charge is fixed, always the line along which the electric forces will act will pass through the fixed charge, and hence we can say no torque will be acting on this charge about this charge. So its angular momentum will remain conserved. So we can write uh, by angular momentum conservation of plus Q. At the point of closest approach, we can write its initial angular momentum was mu r. Here, u is the initial speed we are taking for the particle, which must be there in the initial state given to us. And at the distance of closest approach, if this is a. We can write this equals to mvrm. So this is our equation one, which will give us the value of uh, the speed of particle at the closest approach point, which is uh, ur naught. This is r naught. Ur naught divided by rm. And uh, by energy conservation here, we can write. We use. Initial kinetic energy of the particle was half m u square. This was the only energy as it was at a far away point, and this must be equal to the final energy, which can be written as half m v square plus the interaction energy of these two charges that can be written as k q capital Q divided by R m. And in this situation, if we substitute the value of a speed, this will give us half m u square. Is equals to half m. Here the speed we can write as u r by r naught whole square plus this k can be written as one by four pi epsilon naught. This q q by four pi epsilon naught r m. Here I can also cancel this two. So finally here you can see this is a quadratic equation in the value of r m. So here if I substitute the value of R m by using the quadratic equation, I can calculate it. Let's uh, write it in form of a x square plus b x plus c first. So this can be written as uh, I take these two terms on the left hand side. So this will be m u square r naught square multiplied by one by R m whole square plus this term we can write as Q Q by two pi epsilon naught, and multiplied by one by R M. This term I can take in negative. This will be minus M U square the zero. So this is a quadratic in one by R M, and this one by R M, the solution of this quadratic equations I can directly write. This will be minus B that is negative of Q Q by two pi epsilon naught. Plus minus. Obviously, I take plus as if I take negative sign over here. The distance will be negative. That's not possible. And I write the discriminant of this equation. That is b square q q by two pi epsilon naught whole square minus four ac. That is four times a in this situation is m u square r naught square. C is minus m u square, so this will be plus. I take m square and u to power four divided by twice of a. That will be m u square 
r not square so from here i'll directly get the value of uh, distance of closest approach which i can write here as a reciprocal of this which is 2m u square r not square divided by this uh, root of uh, q q by 2 pi epsilon not whole square plus 4 m square u to power 4 r not square minus q q by 2 pi epsilon naught. So that will be the answer to this problem.